Hi, my sweet pen friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. Believe it or not, we are quickly approaching the end of another month, so it's time to start planning for the month of July. July will mark my fifth month of bullet journaling, and I'm still very much enjoying the whole process of it. I love opening my notebook up to those blank pages and knowing that there are an endless amount of possibilities. If you want to check out my previous plan with me videos that I've done in my bullet journal, I will leave a link in the description box below. I'll also be sure to link all of the supplies that I used in this video as well. Speaking of supplies, I have some exciting news to share with you guys today. The stickers that I'm going to be using in today's bullet journal spread are ones that I've designed myself. I made a video a couple weeks back on my channel announcing that I was opening up my own online shop, so these will be added to the store on July 1st. Mark your calendars for July 1st for this new sticker launch. I'm so excited about it. It'll be my first physical product on my shop. Right now I have some digital printable downloads and oh, so nervous, but very excited as well. So if you guys want to check those out again, there will be a link in the description box below. They will be live on July 1st. Woo -woo. I wanted to try my hand at a fountain pen and ink theme because that was just kind of what I was itching to draw. I know that July is more known for the summertime and Independence Day, but this is something that you could use all year round and you don't have to limit yourself to just using it in your planners or your journals. Stickers are amazing because you can stick them anywhere. I do want to take this opportunity to also thank everyone who supported my little online shop, my little shop with big dreams. Your support means so much. It's an exciting project for me to work on, but also a scary one because I don't know what the outcome is going to be. I don't know if there will be anything that comes from it, but just knowing that you guys are cheering me on, it means so, so very much to me. And I just want to thank you for whether you've purchased from the store, shared my shop with a friend, or simply left words of encouragement. My heart just pours with gratitude to know that I have all my sweet pen friends here to to share in the joy and excitement of trying something new. If you've watched my previous plan with me videos that I've done in my bullet journal, you know that I'm a fan of the traditional monthly calendar and for the month of July that still rings true. I went ahead and Put together my little monthly calendar and I'm just filling in the days for the month of July. I totally didn't notice it until after I was done filming this video but I accidentally messed up on my little monthly calendar layout. I measure my little day boxes 7x7 seven seven on the grid but for some reason, I misaligned and cut off one of the columns for Saturday, so my Saturday boxes are a little bit skinnier than the rest. <sighs> it's just a mistake that I'm gonna have to live with. Bullet journal mistakes, man, they happen, and you gotta roll with it. I totally didn't know that that was the case, though, until I was done and the whole spread came together so I guess it's not that big of a deal but I just thought that was a little bit funny. And it's sticker time. For these stickers I decided to leave them as black and white illustrations. I was having such a hard time deciding on a color palette and I feel like the challenge stemmed largely from the fact that as a fountain pen user one of the biggest joys and benefits is being able to choose the colors of your pens and your inks. 
and I wanted to find the best way to represent that. So using these as black and white, plain and simple stickers seem to be the best way to go. That way you can customize them as you please. I've used markers on these, that seems to be just fine. I've also tried using fountain pen inks on these and I just want to put it out there that you won't get the best representation of your inks. Of course they're going to look better on fountain pen friendly paper and these sticker sheets are simply not that. These are printed on matte vinyl waterproof paper. I don't know about the waterproof claim. I haven't personally doused these in water, but also I used fountain pen inks on them and isn't there water in fountain pen inks? I don't know, maybe I'm missing something here. But I think that if you're trying to get a fair representation of your ink color, then using a cotton swab or you know, coloring it in with your fountain pen, these stickers will be a fun way for you to show off what you have currently inked. I actually think that it would be fun to print these out on fountain pen friendly paper. That way you could use them as a currently inked spread and have your inks shine the way that they're supposed to. I will have these available as a digital download if you want to do that. I'm personally thinking about putting that in my bullet journal. I don't have that many currently inked. I try not to keep too many fountain pens inked at one time just because I want to give all my pens a fair chance at play, but I think it still would be fun to kind of keep track and I don't know, like adult coloring. Yeah, that's exactly what it would be like, adult coloring. So how are things going where you guys live? For us, I think a lot of people have started to venture out, but we're also starting to see the number of people that are getting sick spike back up again. <sighs> I don't blame people for going out. It's been, it's been hard to stay in and I'm sure people are feeling stir crazy, but it's, it's worrisome to see so many people getting sick again. So just stay safe if you guys are going to go out. My husband and I have been out a few times just for one-off outings for the most part. We haven't really been going out too much, at least not as frequently as we used to before all of this. I feel for the most part that I've been using this time to really work and make it as meaningful as possible and for me to be as productive as possible. That's not always the case, but I think that I've started to get into a good routine of things. I kind of talk a little bit about it in my previous video about the Pata Journal. That seemed to really help me get my life in more order and a lot more organized. So if you guys want to check out that video, it will be linked in the description box below. I also want to give a huge thanks to everyone who has signed up for my newsletter. That is something that I've been working on this past month, trying to put together a newsletter that I'll send out monthly filled with nothing but pen and paper goodness. So if you guys want to sign up for that, I will have a link to that in the description box below. I really just want to find a way to connect more directly with all of you and that seemed to be the next best option. I know a lot of you guys have messaged me um, just kind of asking uh, about like certain things that you're looking for so I'm hoping that I can provide answers, solutions, and value to the things that you're asking about through this newsletter. So again, if you want to sign up for that, that will be linked off in the description box below. 
For those of you who have been watching my plan with me videos in my bullet journal, you'll see that I am not using craft paper this go around. I had to really force myself not to use it. I really wanted to because I still like using the scrappy craft paper all torn up and wrinkled in my bullet journal. I still really enjoy how that looks, but I, I wanted to challenge myself to not use it. And I think my spread still came out pretty nice. For the most part, everything in terms of the format has stayed the same since I started bullet journaling. And I'm okay with that. It's something that I like using. It's functional and it allows me to be creative in other aspects such as designing these stickers and just finding little elements for me to doodle and play around. I think that has been such a huge takeaway for me in bullet journaling and you know I'm, I'm not trying to make it more than it is like bullet journaling is a way for me to plan but I also believe that bullet journaling is so popular because it speaks to people on a deeper level and for me it's been a huge source of creative fulfillment so I, I don't know I, I feel like we're going deep here but th those have been my thoughts so far on using the bullet journal system the freedom is so it's so great and it can be very intimidating I think at first but the blank page is not your enemy the notebook and the pen are there to help facilitate all of the thoughts that are swirling around in your head into action and whether that's an actionable item for you to take care of the week in the week or something that turns out to be a cute doodle i think both have their purpose and yeah that's that's me going off on a tangent but let me know if anyone else shares these hashtag bullet journal thoughts. I'm just wrapping up this layout with a few more trackers at the bottom. I had to make space for more things to track this next month because we finally launched our podcast. It's a podcast that my sister and I have been working on for such a long time. And we finally posted our first two episodes by the time you're watching this video. So I just want to keep track of things that we're doing on there. You can listen to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description box below. But our podcast is focused about life in the dance community. If that's something that you're interested in, we would love to for you to hop on over and join us uh, for that conversation over there. Oh, something that I wanted to let you guys know is I will be trying out a new upload schedule for the month of July. I posted a poll on my community page a few weeks back maybe it wasn't that long ago but i posted and asked you guys for your feedback on my upload schedule i noticed that youtube was saying a lot of you guys watch my videos or are just on youtube on wednesdays in the morning so we're gonna try posting on wednesday mornings for the month of july and we'll see how it goes I've posted on Thursdays because that's the time frame or the timeline that has worked best for me, but I'm going to see if I can make Wednesdays work because there was some of you or there were some of you who said that, you know, you would like to see me move over to Wednesdays. A lot of you said that you're open to whatever. So I think you know taking that into consideration we'll try wednesdays for july and then if we need to we'll switch back the month after but yeah just wanted to give you guys a heads up to be expecting my videos on wednesday morning starting july 1st which is also 
the new product release so don't forget about that as well <sighs> so many things so many awesome things to look forward to so many things to feel grateful for and I just want to let you know I'm so grateful to you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications that way you don't miss any of my videos you can also connect with me over on my website that's Devin Liu d-e-v-n-n-l-u-u.com Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen and I'll catch you in the next one.